Hey, this is YBR, and I ask you to imagine something real quick before we get into this. Imagine big rigs over the road racing. Okay, you know that game. That game, it's on my intro for my channel. If you don't know what I'm talking about for sure, just poke on my channel and look at it. And, uh, I actually don't show it off there, so that's not a good idea. Never mind. Uh, look it up. Big rigs over the road racing. Just imagine it, though, without all of the little things that made it fun and memorable. For, imagine if it didn't have the forever ending going backwards and you couldn't drive through the walls and it was a serious racing game. Well, guess what? Midnight Race Club Supercharged is that game. Some may say this is an improvement and my computer's beeping at me, but screw you, computer. Some, like me, say it is the opposite of an improvement. It is the... just... it destroys the game. So, this one has three different types of vehicles. It has... A car which is maybe supposed to be somewhat like a Ferrari. Like, really, very, very not though. I don't know for sure what that's supposed to look like. Uh, we got a Toyota Celica, maybe? I think that's what they're called. A uh, Nissan 350Z. And a Lamborghini. But there's also bikes. Alas, I know nothing about bikes, so these are the bikes there are. They look like very similar to me. I can't tell bikes apart and bikes themselves that are based off of fake ones. It would be even harder. You can tell Yasuki. You know what's that sound like? Suzuki. Uh, I don't know bike people or bike brands and stuff really though, so I can't say much more. So you got the bikes, and I was poking around in these while I was talking. You got these trucks, the Cannonball, which is supposed to be just a generic American truck. Um, this one, which looks more like a Dodge Ram. This one kind of just like looks like a mix of a, a Silverado and a F-150. It doesn't really look like anything. This one, this reminds me of a Dodge Ram though. This one is just a fairly generic SUV. Maybe a Ford Explorer kind of. And this is the redneck truck. Uh -huh. Or just a generic truck. I don't think there's any difference in driving any of these. So I'm just pick one. All these tracks. Identical to the ones in big rigs over the road racing so let's go to devil's passage because that is the track that i think everybody basically plays because it's the first one i uh, just chose it because everybody plays it so it's a good place to get this thing going so the loading screens in this game really do take a while for some reason i'm not quite sure why nonetheless at least it gives me some time to uh, say whatever i want to so oh there it goes So. As you can see, the brake lights are still that of a big rig. They did not change them, so they just drag behind. If you see, I'm going left and right, and whenever you crash, there is that. That big bang. And the sound does not change. You could just be slowly going into something and bang. It's just a loud bang all the time if you touch anything. But that is not the only thing they ruined. See, that's the bang from like fast. This is a bang from slow. It doesn't matter how fast you go. So, they ruined the fun driving through things physics. Okay, fine. Now it's a serious ish racing game. But, the thing that really ruins a lot of the fun is this. Watch what happens if you go to a hill. You lose all of your speed! I did not break right there. That's just the way it goes. And the AI does work. It worked in the old one too if you had the patch. So, uh, I don't know why it wouldn't have. Anyways, I'm just gonna try to catch up to them because this is actually my first time playing it. I have actually only seen a video about some of the things about it and I read about it that it was fixed. I do not know if the AI can actually finish in this one. So I want to catch up and see if they do and if there's like a your loser screen. Because I want to see how that reads. If it's going to read your loser or you are a loser or what. You know? Makes me curious. So I'm going to just uh, roll this race through and win it. Uh, if you don't know, the people who are behind this game are Game Mill. Uh, some of the craziest game people ever. Another thing that you could do in the old game, I'm assuming you could do it in this one as well, is if you have something as simple as Microsoft Paint. Ow, that hurts my ears, it's loud. But if you have something as simple as Microsoft Paint, you can modify the maps. Because a lot, all these maps are based off of a height map. 
and you can modify that with Microsoft Paint. It's not the most efficient way, but you can. There are special tools to modify height maps. But basically, what it's doing is changing everything in this game. You can do that all on your own. So, you can make custom tracks and shit. Nobody really has. Oh, and look at that. If you hit the other person, you bounce backwards and lose all your speed. Alright, so there is crash physics with them as well. It's not just the buildings and lights and all of that. Oh, great. So I gotta catch up to them. So yeah, this game, same tracks, same a lot of things. I think the games might have been like originally planned as like a two-pack type of thing. Or if you look at the menus, logically thinking. Okay, you see the menus for the big rigs. I mean, excuse me. If you see the menus for this, imagine there's being a big rigs logo in it. Because there was a three spot, or there's four spot. Oh, damn it. I'm going to lose. These physics suck. Is that a broken helicopter? I don't remember that. Alright, but um, what was I saying? You know what? I'm almost done with this race. I'll just show what I'm gonna, I was about to say later. Uh, let's see. Anyways, I want to see what happens when you win. So this is about, well, uh, 20 seconds away from a finish line. Actually, no, wait. There's one more and then the finish. I want to see what happens if you lose. Ow! Dude, that is annoying! Alright, so... They still just stop at the finish line. That angers me. Stupid physics. Alright, so you still... you wi What? The grammar is fixed? This game is bullshit. So yeah, it's a fixed version of Big Rigs Over the Road Racing. But what I was saying, imagine this. Imagine a 18-wheelers uh, icon right here. That would fit perfectly. There's a blank spot. That is where it belonged. Big Rigs Over the Road Racing is a fraction of its basically sequel part, Midnight Racer Supercharged. Or something. I don't know how to describe it. It is like a mess. It's like they took out the only part that was partially finished. Like they had the models for the big rigs done, but none of these, and they had to release it immediately. So they put it out as just big rigs. And if you notice, that background image is exactly the same one as if you're doing a loading screen for big rigs over the road racing. If you ever noticed that, I don't know if you ever pay attention enough, but that is the same background image. So it's just. It's crazy to think that. All the talk about the game being so bad but if it's fixed I think it's worse let's uh, try out the uh, bikes for a second so here real quick let me show you how fun these bikes are oh, I gotta hit next and uh, let's see I wonder if you could fall off of them or if it's just like the car physics let's go to night ride So yeah, I just gotta wait for it to load. You know, I don't remember. Was Night Ride the track that didn't work in the first one? Whoa, the game crashed. Woo, gotta fix this in editing. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I gotta fix that in editing. So I'm gonna quit this video and be right back with it. Alright, it loaded with the bikes. And they sound just like the truck. Which sounds just like the big rig. And look, they have the lights. And ow. At least the hit detection on the bot on the things are a little bit different because you can't just bump into it, you actually bike hit into it. But look at this, you can't go on the curb. The curb is too steep to go up. You just smash into it. That's ridiculous. So it's a drag race. I don't really remember this track from the original game though at all. Um so yeah, this is a new experience for me. And look at the bikes. I wonder what happens if they hit me. They didn't hit me. I was hoping they'd hit me. Where the hell did they go? Are they like just... What happened? <gasps> I got good news. They did not fix backing up. Oh, good news. There's still some fun to this game until you crash into a wall. Which will invite and just happen soon enough. But you can still go in the rocket ships mode. Bam, bam. What happened to my enemy? They're gone. 
Interesting. Oh god, this is so... This is the worst controlling bike you will ever see. Am I going the right way? I don't even know. Apparently not. And my enemy is gone. Let's try a different track. Because I want to try something now. So, you've all seen the big rig going backwards at one zillion miles per hour. I've even done it in a video. Now, what happens when you have wall physics that when you try to drive up them, it doesn't work and a car going at 500 miles per hour? Let's find out. After it loads. Because it takes a long time. And maybe if I feel adventurous, maybe I'll make a special map and try to use it just for the hell of it. So we just wait and wait. And here we go. So I just gotta make sure I don't hit any of the lights and I should be okay. And ah, the view for this thing is absolutely terrible. I can't see anything. Oh no. And my computer's beeping. And oh, damn it, I almost had it. Hold on, I got this. Alright, so let's just go up at 70, 80. Look at that. They only fix the hills if you're going forward. Yes, you can still climb hills. Woo! And you can still get out of the maps. So all they did was added crashing physics. And, ooh, the inability to climb hills. And I'm stuck. Back up. And the lights don't even match up. That's ridiculous as well. Look at that. This is like Big Rigs right here. Can't see anything, though. At least you can see stuff in Big Rigs. There we go. Bam. And you bounce from those things. Crashes. Alright, well. Um, I'm not sure what else I can really do in this game now. I didn't expect it to be long. So I'm going to just poke around with the Lamborghini. See if there's any major differences just in case. Let's try out... Maybe this is the one that was broken in the other one. I don't remember. It was one of the later ones was broken in the original game. And then they replaced it with a mirrored or reversed version of a different track. I can't recall which it was. I don't oh no, it crashed yet again. I'll get back in it and... Uh, damn, this game is unstable. Right, I'm going to get back in it in a sec, so just hold on, guys. Well, here's an interesting, uh, interesting discovery for you. This crack still crashes the game, so I'm assuming this must be the exact same track. Not fixed at all. Still crashes the game. So instead, we're going to the Forgotten Road 1 to try this Lamborghini out and see if there's any major differences or if it's like exactly the same. I highly doubt there would be a difference. It's just maybe like a teeny teeny. Oh, crap, the game crashed again. Damn this game. Hold on. I got this. I got this. Just wait. I must amend my previous statement. It is not the final track that makes this game crash. It is the Lamborghini. So don't use the Lamborghini. And, uh, yeah, the, spe the speed feels pretty much identical to that of every other vehicle in this game ever. So, nothing to report here. Let's see what happens if the AI hits you. Or if they just disappear again. Oh, they just go right through you in. They are an AI on rails. <laughs> they just go straight through you and you get stopped in your tracks, it looks like. That's ridiculous. So you gotta avoid touching them because if you touch them, you get stopped instantly. And let's see. I'm gonna just keep my speed up right here. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I think if you get touched by them, your car comes to a dead stop and they go straight through you. <laughs> I gotta try this one more time. Because that is ridiculous if it is true. Absolutely ridiculous. Damn it! I think it's true. I mean, it's hard to test it. Getting in front of them and stuff is difficult because you can't get too near them before you get in front of them and then you have to try to line up. You know, it's not easy. Alright, I'm gonna try one last time. And then I'm gonna wrap up this uh, Let's Play. Because there's no story mode to this, so I'm not gonna play through every track with every car. That'd be ridiculous. I'll just poke around here. Damn it! I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Here we go. I hate these tracks. The ones with the curves around you. Stupid curves. And there's a sign right in the road that'd probably just stop you dead in your tracks. That's all so stupid. <laughs> 